All right, fam, so we are back at it again with another banger, 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 banger video. All right, so today we got my boy, Richard Lorenzo. I react to this man so many times, bro. I love Richard, okay? I love Richard, fam. But look, he did a video, and this just came out to, I think today. Yeah, this just came out today. He sold his soul to the devil, and this happened. Not Richard, okay? Richard didn't sell his soul. He's filled with the Holy Spirit. He ain't selling his soul, okay? You know what I'm saying? He is fully committed to Christ from what I see. But this video is crazy, man. Uh, a young guy sold his soul to the devil, uh, so yeah, man, we finna go ahead and see what this video is about. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Also, follow the podcast channel in the link description box below. Without further ado, let's get it. Let's go. I sold my soul when I was like 16, bro. And rise with Christ. One early morning as I was praying in my secret place, the Lord told me that somebody was going to be saved and get baptized today. Man, I'm believing for someone to give their life to Christ today. I and mean, someone be like, hey, I want to go get baptized right now. Within five minutes of being in downtown Orlando, we ran into this brother who said he sold his soul to the devil. What do you think the purpose of life is? Life's a forever game of figuring it out. Do you believe in the spiritual realm? Yeah, I believe in the spiritual, you know, manifestation, quantum physics. I sold my soul when I was like 16. Team, bro, and he gave me everything I ever wanted, but then you take it away. That's what the devil does. The Bible says he kills, steals, and destroys. I was also working for the devil. I was going to be a dual inductive warlock. But then I had a supernatural encounter with Jesus Christ in my apartment alone. He died, he was buried, and he rose from the dead. He did that so that we can be forgiven. God has called you, bro. He ended up believing the gospel, That's repenting, being baptized, and receiving the Holy Spirit. It was a miracle. He repented and renounced every demonic agreement and broke every curse by the blood of Jesus. I feel cleansed. Whew. It's the process. It's intense, bro. It's like, wow. It's real. It is. Shout out Jesus. Hey, what's up, family? So we are at Lake Yola. Man, I'm believing for someone to give their life to Christ today. I want to preach the gospel to someone, give them my testimony, and someone be like, hey, I want to go get baptized right now because they're so encountered, man. Like, that's what I want to see today. So Holy Spirit, have your way. We are at Lake Yola Park, downtown Orlando, man. The harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. So let's get it, man. Hallelujah. Hey, what's up, y'all? We're at Lake Yola. I'm with Dion Tyson. Okay, you do music? Uh, no, I'm just a cameraman, videographer. What kind of content do you do? Usually I was helping um, back in 2019 and 2020. I was doing um, like speaking engagements, you know, masterminds in Vegas and Nashville. So that's a, Tony Robbins, Gary V, um, Ty Lopez. Ah, there's a lot of people though, a lot of people. Bro. Wow, that's crazy, man. So like since COVID, I mean, a lot of shit changed, you know, a lot of competition and then AI is out. So helping people kind of cheat the game. So it's like- For real, like how? It's not, it's not original. Like people are just like plugging this in there and then it like generates it for you. But you have all all these opportunities money you've seen it you've seen it come and go what do you think the purpose of life is like what are we doing here as humans on this earth fulfilling your purpose i mean life's a forever game of figuring it out so, so like do, do you believe in the spiritual realm yeah i believe in the spiritual you know manifestation um quantum physics all that quantum kind of physics like nikolai tesla and all that yeah, stuff yeah, and i'm really deep into that stuff uh, you're taking lsd oh yeah lsd acid shrooms dmt first it gives you what you want but then it makes you feel like you need more and then you're going downhill and it's like a spiral effect you got to like maintain a balance you know like, but have you ever experienced like an evil spirit or a good spirit yeah and uh when i was in the new orleans i felt a lot of spirits you know there's a lot of voodoo and stuff going on out there so yeah bro like i was on um freshman street or bourbon street and this lady was selling crystals and stuff and like i felt something like grab my back and i turned around nothing was there and then the lady with crystals just smiled at me and was like shaking her head yes i told her what i felt and then like after that i'm just like damn that's real bro the devil is out here do you think this is spiritual right now like her pulling up in this interview look, look, look. like a spiritual look out of nowhere. Have you ever had sleep paralysis? Yeah, a few times. Did it feel good? Nah, bro. That shit was scary, you know, like, I mean, I already, some days I can't sleep, but when, like, I sleep, then you wake up and, like, you feel like you can't breathe and something's, like, they say, like, sitting on your chest and just, like, you just start seeing shit, bro, and it's, like, weird. It's not normal, though. It's not normal. Can I tell you something? Yeah. So, I used to be deep in the voodoo, actually, in New Orleans, and, can, can we finish the interview? Oh, can, can you, can, put that a, I'm, I'm, about to, I'm about to tell them something important. So, this is spiritual, you know why? I was going to be a dual inducted warlock. I used to have the crystals. I used to have, I used to balance chakras. I used to be with the, with the altars. I used to have the beads. I studied Islam. I was raised Catholic, bro. I did everything, shamanism, LSD, all that, bro. Then I had a supernatural encounter with the highest power and he changed my life, bro. Like I literally encountered, bro, Jesus Christ in my apartment alone. He delivered me from demons, bro, by myself, no pastor. I got healed from a disease I had for nine years. Mm -hmm. You see how I'm talking about Jesus? Look what just happened. Show the camera, show, show. Oh yeah. 
You see, you, you see how, you, you see that's how. That's why I told you I knew that she was going to come this way because it's demonic. Bro. I already knew. That's what they do. That's how they people come out of nowhere. But, but you see how I just mentioned Jesus the whole time. And look, and, and then she left because she was she was here to stop this. Yeah. So like, bro, the gospel, bro. You ever heard about the gospel, the good news? Not religion, not religion. Oh, no. Relationship. God has called you, bro. God wants to use you for this end times. Bro, I was deep into drug dealing. I was moving hundreds of pounds of weed, bro. I was like, I was in Cali. I had cars, houses, everything. Traveled the world. Empty, bro. When I had that encounter with Jesus Christ after a whole bunch of coincidental events, people coming up to me like this, bro, just supernatural things. When he filled me with the Holy Ghost, when this, with the Spirit of God, the, the, and he was the Ruach, the, the breath of God, the wind. When I got filled, bro, it was like everything in my life made sense. He wants to fill you with his Spirit. I'm a non-denominational regular Christian. I wasn't raised Christian. Sometimes I'll play around with the devil only because he gives me what I want. You do like, like rituals blood. and stuff like that? I have. I sold my soul when I was like 16, bro, and he gave me everything I ever wanted. I bullshit you not. You saw a demon, right? I don't know what I've seen, but I know it scared me. Anything I would ask for, bro, whatever I wrote down in my dream journal, it would happen. Yeah. But then, then to take it away. Once it's too good to be true, once it gets too good, I know for a fact that it's something bad is gonna happen. That's what the devil does. He kill, the Bible says he kills, steals, and destroys. So I, I was also working for the devil. So in the realm of the spirit, there's angelic and demonic beings. There's two kingdoms fighting. They're fighting over souls. So we're here on this earth realm to be tested. We're in a physical realm, but it's also. I want to pause the video and say this also. Just because you may not have sold your soul to the devil, let's get this right. Your soul can never be fully sold to the devil, okay? You cannot sell your soul, all right? People use that term as like, I just basically wrote a contract to the devil, basically just gave my life to the devil. Like how we give our life to Christ, just gave your life to the devil. But your soul can never be sold to the devil. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to get that out there. You know what I'm saying? Because again, God can always redeem you. God can still fill you up with his spirit. It don't matter how far you done ran from God, he will always be right there. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter where you go, he is right there, still by your side. No matter how you neglected him, whatever, he's always right there. But I paused the video because I also want to say this, just because you haven't technically gave your life to the devil, when you're living a life full of sin and you're living a life that is fully outside the will of God, like you don't even care for, you don't care nothing about God. You may know that, oh yeah, there is a God. You may know of a God, but if you're not living for God, you know what I'm saying? It's only one other person you could possibly be living your life for, which is the devil. The devil is the prince of this world. The things on this world feeds your flesh. You know what I'm saying? The devil want to continue to feed your desires. He, that your desires that you have that are against God are the flesh. You know what I'm saying? We all have those fleshly desires, whether it's lust, porn, smoking weed, whatever it is, we all have those fleshly desires. So the more you continue to feed into those fleshly desires, you're basically saying, look, I'm giving you exactly what you want, devil. This is what you want. I'm giving it to you. That's basically what you're saying in the spiritual realm. You know what I'm saying? In the spiritual sense, that's what you're saying. Like, hey, devil, I'm giving you what you want. You want me to have porn? You want me to have sex with that girl? I'm going to do it because you because you want you giving me what I want. You know what I'm saying? Like he said, you're giving me what I want. What I want is I want to have sex with that girl. What the spirit want is for me to be celibate and not have sex with that girl. Well, not necessarily celibate, but abstaining from sex. The spirit wants you to abstain from sex and wait into marriage. The flesh is telling you, hey, nah, go have sex with her. Go have sex with her. What's going to happen? Everybody do it. This is the devil controlling you, basically. He's telling you what to do, and he's telling you your identity, and now you're going to do exactly what it is that he wants you to do. So, again, stop feeding your flesh and feed your spirit. The more you feed your spirit, your spirit will literally outgrow the flesh, meaning that it will be, you will literally have to, my pastor said it the best, you will literally have to strategize to sin when you follow Jesus Christ. Like, it be times, bro, where I will be tempted to do something that I used to do in the world, but I know, like, no, nah, I'm saved. I literally have to strategize and look like, uh, um, how should I, should I do this? No, I, I shouldn't. Like, ah, oh, man, what, what should I do? Like, I'm literally thinking about what what I need to do. You know what I'm saying? Rather than when you know, I'm in the world, I just do it because, I mean, why not? You know what I'm saying? What's so bad about it? You feel me? But anyways, we're gonna let the fin uh, we're gonna let the video finish though spiritual we are spirits souls and bodies we're triune we're three in one our spirit comes from god we enter this this world our soul is created in our body our body goes back to dust but our soul is our mind will and emotions right. it's who we are but our spirit goes back to god so our soul in this realm is being tested this is the gospel this the good news you ever you ever lied of course you ever cheated yeah me too you ever said so like we're we're both according to that we're lying cheaters so one sin sends you to hell Right? Yep. Uh, this is a distraction, I'm telling you, because right when I give you the gospel, she comes back around. Yeah. This is this, this is what's gonna save your life. For real, this message. Because it's, yeah. it's life and death in the tongue. It's meant to happen.
I'm telling you. I, I, if I, I'll tell you some more after this. Y'all just came out of nowhere and like I just. And I told him we're gonna. The, the, I, I told him before we got here there was gonna be someone we were gonna meet. I have it on video. Right. I told him there's gonna be somebody we're gonna meet who's gonna get saved tonight, today. This, this is gonna save your life. This message. So we've all sinned. The good news is Jesus Christ is God, an all-powerful Spirit, all-knowing everywhere at once. Entered a human vessel. Bro. Jesus is the fullness of God bodily. He's not a prophet. He's God incarnate. He was born of a virgin. He had to go through life. He had to poop. He had to pee. He had to eat. He had to learn all these things. And then finally, at 30 years old, he just it was time for ministry. And he never sinned. So what he did is he went from city to city, casting out devils, moving in miracles. That's what's supposed to be happening in the churches now. You come to our church, bro, every service, there's miracles. And so Jesus did all that because he, he had to fulfill the prophecies. Finally, it was time to go up on the cross. We know the story. He got the crown of thorns on his head. He got whipped 39 times, bro. He was mold, unrecognizable. Physically and spiritually, he went through torture. He did that so that we can be forgiven. When he went up on the cross, he said it's finished because he took all the sins of the world, bro. Because he died, he was buried, and he rose from the dead. Yeah. You wanna go get saved right now? I mean, I'm down to get saved, bro. You wanna get baptized? So I'll do it. Let's go. All right. Jesus, he died, he was buried, he rose. So how you get saved is believing this, that he's your Lord, meaning you're gonna follow him. So this is what happened. We hopped out of the whip, like right there. I was right past that little thing. And on video, you're going to see it. I said, I feel like somebody today is going to get saved and not just saved, but baptized. And bro, we walked right to that little area over there and, and I do music. So we were making a little, a, a little, a little reel for um, one of the music videos. And then right after I finished, you popped up out of nowhere and I was like, yo, let's, let's interview him. The way that you guys were walking towards me, I was like, oh yeah, these dudes are about to ask me a question. I thought you guys were about to sell me something, but I guess what you guys are selling me is going to last a lifetime. It's gonna save you know what I'm saying? <laughs> What I want to pray against is that that that's before 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 we see this young brother get baptized. I want to say this. He mentioned something so good. He said, "This is what's supposed to be happening in the church now: miracles, demons getting cast out of people, the sick being healed, the blind being able to see." Like this is the stuff that's supposed to be happening in church, and a lot of people don't believe because they don't see the miracles. They don't see the fruits of what the Bible what the Bible teaches us, what the Bible tells us. Jesus and his disciples did it. You think that, oh, uh, you think because they followed Jesus that they was able to do it? No, 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 no. Jesus literally said, people who believe in him, people who believe in him filled with the Holy Spirit, just how his disciples were, we are now able to do exactly what he did. What he did. But of course, we have to have faith, though. That's the key. We have to have faith. You have to have faith as a mustard seed that these things can happen. You know what I'm saying? We can't just go up to a person, start speaking tongues and 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 thinking they go get healed when we're not even when we're not even having the faith. We can literally be filled with the Holy Spirit and not have faith. We can literally the 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 disciples was trying to cast out demons, but because they had so little faith, the demons didn't leave. The demons didn't leave. The healed wasn't the the sick wasn't healed because they didn't have the faith. They didn't have the faith, and that's the key is to have faith. So the stuff that's supposed to be happening in church is miracles, uh, the 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 uh, the uh, church helping out the homeless and things like that. Like these things are supposed to be the fruits of what people are supposed to see when they think of church. But when people think of church, they think of all oh, the pastors just coming to take your money. The pastors this, the pastor that, because we have a lot of people in the pool pits that was never supposed to be in the pool pits. That's why I take my calling for God seriously. It's like, Lord, whatever you want me to do, I need you to tell me where you want me to go because I don't want to just... Because I have a feeling that I'm supposed to be a pastor, I'm going to be a pastor. If I walk into being a pastor prematurely, I can literally lead so many people astray. And that's what a lot of us do. We walk into the things we think God want us to do prematurely. And we just walk in there and be like, whoop, 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 whoop. And then we lead so many people astray. Then we, we got so much blood on our hands now because we think God told us to do this when God never intended for this to be what we're supposed to be doing. Or this is uh, where God has us at. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a, man, it's a lot, bro. But I love the fact that Richard said that because this is the stuff that's supposed to be happening in church. We need to see more miracles. I witnessed, like, besides YouTube, I witnessed in my own... In front of my eyes, demons react to people that have faith and filled with the Holy Spirit and they're trying to cast these demons. I literally witnessed demons react. I just witnessed one react on Sunday. And I witnessed another one react like a few months ago where, man, it was crazy, bro. I'm telling y'all, this junk is real. It's real. I was delivered. I was delivered from spirits that I, that I, that I uh, opened up doors for. I was delivered from that. It's real. Y'all just got to want to believe it, bro. 
satanic um thing ritual you did that you that that you, you thought you sold your soul to. Yeah. We're just, gonna, we're just gonna break it in the spirit. So, so what exactly happened? You got candles and you did a YouTube ritual. Yeah, I mean, I don't. Y'all hear that? He found he found a, a, a ritual on YouTube on how to sell your soul. Yeah, back in uh, freshman year, I was probably like sixteen for sure. Sixteen years old, and I don't know anything I ever prayed for or wanted. After that, after that happened, you know what I mean? Not like so anything, like, but most things. Most things for sure. So that's when things started going up. What'd you do? You got candles? Yeah. And just... In a pentagram or something like that? Yeah. And just followed the oath, the chant, what they, what they were saying. It was English and like some were Latin, like the like the repeat after me type of saying. And it was kind of weird. I, had, I was upstairs in my room and I had like hardwood floor. And it was just weird, bro. And then I like used to... um things you wanted like pictures or you'd like bury them in the ground mm -hmm. you're doing rituals you know? you're doing witchcraft yeah take someone's picture bury it in the ground yeah and, and it worked love spells all types of shit, bro. it worked so the devil can only do he can only see what god does and pervert he just is a copycat yeah just like he like god is when you get married under god he's in the middle he's the union he brings you together and what god brings th together no man can separate but when the devil is in the, in the middle he divides he destroys so you, so you would say like because like ever since you did that things came and then all of a sudden what was the point where things just started getting destroyed? Well, I feel like the more bad things I did, the more rewarded I would get, and then when I tried being a good, the more good I did, the more so the you hear, things were getting taken away from me. So the, the when you did work more evil, when I was doing more, you evil, were blessed more, getting more blessings, yeah. But when you did the right thing, the blessings were all getting taken away, and so if you would have murdered, started stealing more, like hurting people, you would have got more. I'd say, so yeah, you, you, definitely. So you knew it was an evil spirit? Yeah, I knew it was evil. I was playing with evil, you know, playing with the devil and this. Like so I want you to renounce that. I want you to say this, because we're going to break that in the spirit. Say, Jesus. Jesus. I realized I was wrong. I realized I was wrong. I should have never did that ritual. I should have never did that ritual. I break every covenant. I break every covenant. And every contract. And every contract. With every demon. With every demon. In the realm of the spirit. In the realm of the spirit. Any witchcraft, any witchcraft that I put on a female, that I put on a female, I break that too. I break that too. I confess it. I confess and it. And I repent. And I repent. I'm not going to do it again. I'm not going to do it again. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Did you ever kill animals? Yeah. A lot? No, not a lot. Not in, I'm not no Jeffrey Dahmer. But there's been times, you know, like my mom <laughs> lives in the woods, so like I had like a Red Rider BB gun and I would shoot like squirrels down and birds and just. You know, put um, bottle rockets or firecrackers and frogs or fish's mouths and stuff when we were younger, just for fun. Say, I renounce the spirit of death. I renounce the spirit of death. Suicide. Suicide. Depression. Depression. Anger. Anger. Murder. Murder. And anything else. And anything else. I believe you are my Lord and Savior. I believe you are my Lord and Savior. I'm going to follow you. I'm going to follow you. Your blood saves me. Your blood saves me. Washes all my sins away washes all my sins away. Right now, I'm completely forgiven. Right now, I'm completely forgiven. Say it one more time. Right now, I'm completely forgiven. Right now, I am completely forgiven. By believing in my heart. By believing in my heart. That you died on that cross. That you died on that cross. To save me. To save me. You were buried. You were buried. And you rose on the third day. And you rose on the third day. Say, I repent. I repent. Turn away. Turn away. From following other things. From following other things. No more witchcraft. No more witchcraft. New age. New age. Islam. Islam. Buddhism. Buddhism. Hinduism. Hinduism. Or whatever, whatever else. And whatever else. See, I'm going to follow Jesus. I am going to follow Jesus. No denomination. No denomination. No religion. No religion. I'm going to follow you, Jesus. I'm going to follow you, Jesus. Relationship. Relationship. Say, fill me with your spirit. Fill me with your spirit. Change the desires of my heart. Change the desires of my heart. So I can love more. So I can love more. Have more joy. Have more joy. More peace. More peace. Kindness, goodness. Kindness, goodness. Gentleness, self-control. Gentleness, self-control. Faith and patience. Faith and patience. All the fruit of the spirit. All the fruit of the spirit. Putting others before myself. Putting others before myself. Being a servant. Being a servant. In love. In love. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Did you feel anything when I was when you were praying that? Yeah. Like in the beginning though, like I felt like something right here in my ear, like some crackling noise, bro. Like there's something like literally crackling. In your right ear? Yeah, bro. I don't know what it was. Like 
That's why I had to look over here for a minute, like, what was that noise? But like, I literally <laughs> heard something right here, and it was like... Oh, no, breaking no. something off of you. Yeah, bro, that's what it sounded like. There was an angel breaking something off of you. There's a lot of angels in here, bro. Yeah, now I could feel it even more. Like, I feel... What do you feel now that you just prayed that prayer? Um, like, lighter? Lighter, right? Yeah. <laughs> I can't even lie, I'm not making up. feel lighter. I feel cleansed. You feel good, right? No, yeah, I feel good. I feel more high spirit and uplifted than I did before. Amen. Whew. It's the process. It's intense, bro. Yeah, it is. It is. It's like, wow. It's real. A lot of people, you know what I'm saying, they may think, oh, man, he's just talking. All he did was just talk or he prayed. The reason why y'all may think that or some of y'all may think that is because y'all are not spiritual. And I don't mean new age. And I'm not talking about all that other stuff. I'm not talking about that grand rising and that we're going to walk on the sun and we're going to grit our feet. I'm not talking about that type of spiritual. I'm talking about real life believing in Jesus Christ. When you are breaking stuff in the spirit, you know what I'm saying? That prayer is more than just a prayer. It's more than just talking. It's literally you breaking curses that was placed upon you in the spiritual realm. Because, bro, the spiritual realm is real. We are literally, excuse me, whoa. We are literally spirits inside of a body, bro. Imagine that. We are literally spirits inside of a body. The junk is real, bro. The junk is real. And we need to do better, y'all. We have to do better. We have to do better, okay? I'm telling you, what he, what he was praying was he was breaking that stuff that was placed on him, the doors that he opened. Now, you know what I'm saying? This is the time where he's going to go through that sanctification if he's serious about it. God is going to start to really maneuver his life and really work things out, and he's going to start to break things in his life, and things going to start, chains going to start to get broken. Like he said, he feel lighter. I'm telling you, when you come to Jesus, you feel a lighter weight. It don't feel like you have to carry everything in your life because when you, when you don't have Jesus, literally, you're carrying everything. Your, your back is like this at this point when you don't have Jesus. When you don't have Jesus, your back is hunched. When you have Jesus, it's like, ooh. Okay. I, I feel I feel a little I feel a little good right now. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how it feels when you have Jesus. But y'all won't understand until y'all truly seek after the Lord. But yeah, let's finish. Real. It is. Like you're not capping for the camera either. Huh? No, no, like know. that's for real. I'm not lying. I just <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's real. Shout man. out my boy. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Jesus. There. First, you know what I'm saying? There you go. That was good, bro. You hop in this water, man. Let's go. <laughs> my, brother, bro. my boy, bro. So my brother. <laughs> just gonna go through one more time. So you believe Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior? Yes, sir. You believe he died on the cross? Yes. Was buried and rose on the third day? Yes. And you repent and turn to him, right? Mm-hmm. Alright, my brother. I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hold your nose. I'm gonna dunk you backwards. You ready? Yep. So now you're dying with Christ. And rise with Christ. Hallelujah. Come on, man. Holy Spirit, thank you for your son. Thank you that he's born again. Thank you that you confirmed your word of someone getting saved today, Lord. Today is a glorious day, a miraculous, supernatural day. Father, thank you for the protection around them. I, I declare and decree no weapon formed against them will prosper, and every tongue that rises up against them in judgment will be condemned. He's your servant, so this is his inheritance, and his righteousness is of you, Lord. I declare and decree that you are his strong tower, Lord, that you are his fortress, that you will surround him everywhere he goes, Father, that you're going to work it out for him, Lord, that, that, that you're going to bring him into that deep intimacy with you lord that he's gonna love you more than life life itself in jesus name amen my brother amen Come on. appreciate it my brother you already know hey this is so real man like literally y'all saw it I, the lord the man Woo. hey shout out to richard once again you know what i'm saying once again shout out to richard lorenzo the man be coming in with the bangers but not only do he be coming in with the bangers bro Every time I watch one of his videos of someone getting saved, someone hearing the gospel, or, you know, someone considering to believe in Jesus Christ. The junk is real, bro. Believe in Jesus now. I promise you, it's real. It's real. Any doubt, any questions that you may have, ask the Lord or read the word of God. Your, your answers are in the Bible, okay? Your answers are truly in the word of God. And people may say, oh, the word of God contradicts itself. I promise you, before you read the word, Pray and ask God to fill you up with the Holy Spirit. 
and also ask him to lead you and guide you throughout the word, help you to gain understanding and wisdom and knowledge. I promise you, you want to see things much clearer when you read the word of God. Not only would you see things much clearer, but you will also be able to to read it in the context that it was placed in. You know what I'm saying? The Bible is all about reading in the context. It's not about, oh, let me just read the bar, let me just read the Bible like a book. It's not just a book. It's a spiritual book that is going to literally like set you straight for the rest of your life. Okay, until the day that God calls you home. Believe in Jesus Christ now, man. He loves you. 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 All right. He truly loves you. Let me let, I'm, I'm going to pray real quick, y'all. Heavenly Father, Lord, I just thank you, Father God, for number one, Lord, for rising up leaders like Richard Lorenzo, Father God. But not only that, Father God, I pray, Father, that you protect us, Lord, that you keep us covered, Father God. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, Father God, that you continue to you fill us up with your Holy Spirit. You fill us up, Lord, that you give us wisdom, knowledge, understanding, Father God, over your word. Father God, I pray that you help us with our unbelief. The, we believe, Lord, we want to have faith, Father God. The people that want to have faith, the people that want to believe, Lord, but they have that unbelief in them, Lord. I pray that you just help them with their unbelief, Father God. Lord, reveal yourself to them, Father God. Lord, I pray that you continue to lead them continue to guide them father god throughout their life lord continue to protect them father god father i pray that everybody that's watching this video lord you know who this video needs to reach father god that you allow this video to reach the people it needs to reach and i pray that they give their life to you father god i pray that they fully commit themselves to you lord truly follow after you father god lord we love you we honor you we thank you father god lord you know our hearts father god you know our hearts lord in the name of jesus we pray amen all right, y'all. So it's been your boy, The Pen. I love each and every one of y'all, man. Uh, also, make sure y'all go subscribe to the second channel in the link description box below. It is my podcast channel where I'll be, man, look, it's lit. You definitely don't want to miss it. Go down below, follow the podcast channel, subscribe to the podcast channel, listen to it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, whatever you got to do. It's been your boy, The Pen. I love each and every one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.